Well, hello and welcome to the latest episode of my vlog and it's very exciting this week because I finally got to see the finished copies of it started with a kiss and of course I promised that I'd have you with me when I did it uh, so I videoed it for you so just see I'm a, I will make no apologies for getting emotional because it was very exciting um, so here we go well it's a very special day now because my very first copy of It Started With A Kiss has finally arrived. I feel like I've been waiting forever. Um, so I'm going to show you what it's like to actually open it. Here we go. This is always like the best feeling to get to this. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Oh my life. It's always a really, really special moment because it's like it's all sparkly. Oh. It's kind of you know what it's gonna look like and you know, you know, sort of roughly what it's gonna be like. I always get really emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> look at this. Look. Oh, look, I get an inside print as well. It's interesting if I got a back print on that one. Look at that. Fairytale of New York on the background. Oh. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. And then in the back, which is really cool this time, um, there's an interview with me, which is a bit different because we didn't have... Um, the first copy of, of book four because I'm still writing it um, and there were a lot of decisions that were made that meant that you know it wasn't it wasn't sort of finished in time so let's just have a look yeah so you've got um, Cake Therapy by Auntie Mags and then you've got um, an interview with me and there's going to be a longer version um, on the ebook edition then I'll also put that on the website as well so for people that buy this copy because let's face it you can't beat a proper book um, there's going to be that as well but it's really weird the weirdest thing is actually like any one of these pages I know exactly what's written on it which is really cool um, oh wow well. so there we go there's, oh, there's, my there's my third novel I can't believe I've done three that's, look at it, sparkly, blue stars as well, I wasn't expecting those. Oh, they're cool. Um, yeah, so my third novel, that's that's 11 months of my life in 416 pages. So that was amazing. And um, also this week I've had as well, you might have seen the photo that I put on Twitter, we'll put it on the, on the blog as well, um, that in Tesco stores they're doing a special pink edged edition so it looks like it's got pink pages around the outside and it's amazing so i will put a picture of it on the blog and um, they're going to be available in tesco stores right across the uk uh the unlimited edition which i'm very excited about I've never had one of those before so that's really cool now on to your questions i have some questions this week Woo! um susie turner hi susie she's lovely i chat to susie a lot and i'll put a link to her blog uh on the blog on my blog that makes sense. Um, Susie wants to know, do I have any plans to write books in a different genre? Well, actually, I have written a book in a different genre. Um, it's kind of a comedy, urban fantasy thing, uh, which is my wombat novel that you might have heard me talk about. I'll actually put the link um, to where the novel is on autonomy. Um, I've just got the first few chapters on there so you can get an idea of how mad it is. And uh, that's actually out with three publishers at the moment, which I'm really ex excited about. I had one rejection, but that's all right. I was kind of expecting that. Um, so we're just waiting to see if anyone will take that on. But it's kind of more, if you think of sort of Jasper Ford, Douglas Adams, Terry Pratchett, it's like that. And it's quite nice to write in a different genre. So I have got some plans for some different things as well. I've got a plan for a children's story that I've had kind of buzzing about my head for a while. So I might try and do something with that. So I hope that answers your question. Um, jo Cannon, hi Jo, lovely Jo. I'm gonna do a link to her site. You need to go and read it because 
her blog posts are just beautiful every single one is beautiful and most of the time I'm reading it with a tissue because it reduces me to tears so Joe's question is um how does this book launch for it started with a kiss feel in comparison with my first book launch it's a really interesting question and actually it's very similar um it's kind of I think because last time there were so many things working against my novel sort of working it snowed and there was an ash cloud which meant that it didn't get sold to other countries and loads of people didn't do their Christmas shopping till really late and and you know it still sold a lot of copies and it's been a slow burn through the year but it wasn't like the first one whereas this one's actually felt I felt more excitement about this one and I felt that there's a lot of excitement coming from you lovely people and then from people on Facebook and Twitter and, and, and on my blog um, so actually yeah it feels very similar and I'm very excited about this one. I've always had a good feeling about the story itself. I've had this idea for a story since I first signed the three, the original three book deal with um, Avon. So yeah I'm kind of excited about it. It's a bit more low key. I'm not doing a big launch like I did last year. Um, but I have got this Grange Hotels event which they're very kindly putting on for me. Which I'm not quite sure what to expect with that. But it's going to be exciting. Um, and it's just lovely to know that so many people are excited about it. I've been hearing on Twitter that people have got it on Kindle already. Um, so yeah it's it's exciting and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what I achieve so I hope that answers your question and Leah hi lovely Leah from Chicklet Reviews nice to have you back asking questions I know you've been like the busiest lady on the planet but thank you for your question uh, Leah wants to know how do advances and royalties work well obviously I can't be specific um, but generally what happens if you get an advance a lot of first writers don't get much of an advance at all I was quite lucky to have an advance um, what it means is that that's split over the number of books so if you have a three book deal then that advance is the amount of money that you'll get in total because you get a little bit of money when you put the first draft in and you get a little bit of money when it's published every year um, now that amount is the amount that your book has to earn before you then start earning royalties as well um, but it doesn't have to be a certain amount per book it's once you've reached that amount so um, with fairy tale I was thinking that I was going to have to pay back my advance and maybe would have two books come out before I made any money but it actually made its, ad its advance back within five weeks which is crazy um, so then I started to earn royalties on that you get a, a percentage per sales but it's not the price that you see on the back of the book it's the price that the publisher sells your book to the bookshops in that makes sense um, and it's a tiny amount but if you sell a lot of copies then that works out really well and it's different for every writer as well every writer will have negotiated different deals uh, different amounts depending on the type of book and that kind of thing but it's not as much as you think um, but basically it builds up so the more books you sell the more money you make so I hope that answers your question so that's it for this week um, next week I'm gonna hopefully show you what it's like to actually walk into a bookshop and see your book on the shelves which is very exciting i've now got major butterflies um and i'm also going to show you where i work lots of people have asked where i work um i'm in the process i'm, I'm moving next month into a house which will be lovely at the moment i'm in a flat so i'm going to show you my very small working space um and i'll also have details of the song um that romilly writes with jack in chapter eight of it started with a kiss um, I've got a making of video that's going on the website now in fact visit the website because if you look uh, in the drop down section where it says more when you go to my website there are book features there's deleted scenes there's character profiles there's an, uh, an extended interview with me and um, so there's all that sort of stuff going on at the moment and there will be a video of the making of this song so I'm going to share that with you so until then if you've got a question you know what to do pop it in the box underneath this vlog and I'll try and answer it for you next time I'm also going to read you some excerpts from the book as well and there'll be several blogs next week um, so keep your eyes peeled for that in the meantime have a great week hope if you have if you are reading it started with a kiss thank you very much and hope you love it if you're waiting for it not long to wait at all um, but I'll see you next time so take care bye <laughs>